Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. I have pre-pulled your cards. We're gonna be looking at them together. And I wanted a mixture of the Wild Unknown as well as El Goliath Tarot. We'll see what the heck is going on the next week. I don't know how active I'm going to be the next week, but I'm gonna to try to get back in the groove. This week I wasn't very active because um, I just felt very meh, you know? with the shit that is happening out there and uh, the poor people, right? I try not to get involved in politics too much, but it's actually very felt where I'm at. But the good thing is, <laughs> I was literally reading about this before I started your, your video, um, that I'm currently in Lithuania, and uh, that so many people in Lithuania donated, uh, you know, blankets, warm clothes, all that stuff that they had to postpone the donations because they didn't have enough space where to put it as well as not enough space in a trucks to carry it over. So this says something, right? Um, so that lifted me up a bit. I was like, yes, bitches, let's go. So <laughs> my mood, mood, I'm telling you. Um, so I'm very chill now and I'm just... I just sat down. This is not the usual setup. I'm literally on my living room floor, kind of chilling with a candle, have incense going, and let's go. Let's see what is up this week. I'll see in timestamps. By the way, one, two, three. Need more time? Stop video right here. Use your intuition, not your eyes. I'll see you there. Hello, my people, pile number one. Let's see what is up with you all the next week. And um, I want to pull from one more deck before I look at your cards. And this is going to be the um, essential oil, all of Oracle cards. And let's go. The next week's energy. We've got two cards, and we're going to take them both. The first one we have, well, I hope you can see. Um, trigger statement, I'm a victim. True statement, I am powerful beyond measure. Next card we got is gratitude. Trigger statement, I am overwhelmed. True statement, I am moving. The time for planning is complete. Take action, no matter how small, begin today. And we got the high priestess. That's an interesting one. Hmm. I feel like for panel number one, right off the back, bat, uh, what I want to say with this high priestess, um, someone, either you or someone has predicted something and you're going to see it unfold the next week. Overall, there is a feeling that someone's prediction is coming true here. The wild unknown we have the mask yeah maybe it's to do with literally what was unseen what you didn't expect what you didn't see happening and it's coming to the surface here i want to dive into this and i'm gonna take good old steampunk to see what the heck is going on let's clarify the mask here The truth is coming to the surface, I'm hearing. It's coming to the surface. I can see clearly. I know what needs to be done. There is nothing. I'm hearing no stone unturned. No stone unturned. Okay. Okay, so we got the lovers, ten of wands, five of cups, bottom of a deck, we have nine of cups. You know what this makes me feel like? It makes me feel like someone, and I think this is mostly going to be for you, could be a person that you're dealing with, 
but someone um, wants to come together. Someone wants to be closer because it seems like they got something to say and it's connected to struggle of some sorts. Maybe someone was wearing a mask um, and you felt it in a way where they didn't show their struggles or you didn't show struggles to someone else and you're like, I don't want to talk about this, you know, I don't want to ruin the vibe. When in actuality, it seems like this is or will be necessary the next seven to ten days from now. Um, I keep hearing coming together in order to sort something out and being clear with your emotions and how you're feeling and what decision you want to make moving forward. It's interesting because the ginger card that we have, trigger statement says, I am a victim. Five of Cups a lot of times can fall under victimhood, right? So it seems like someone may feel like they are a victim here. Or they want to talk about it. And suddenly one of my teeth started hurting and my teeth are fine. So this is definitely not me. Um, because all of them are fixed. Um, I'd say watch, watch, watch what your body's telling you next week, especially when it comes to teeth. Okay, you teeth has um, every tooth has a connection to an organ, and therefore to to emotion. Okay, so if you want to dig, Google it, do your thing, but there you can. Yeah, there is an understanding here. What I'm feeling, what is this connected to? If I cannot pull some cards for myself or I cannot understand my subconscious that well because sometimes when you work on self, you know, you may need um, a kick from the outside so you understand it better. It's just the same way when people read cards for themselves, it becomes a little bit too... Um, difficult because you're very involved in a situation right or when you read for people whom you know everything about because you have to put your ego on the side yeah it's like someone cannot see someone's not able to see someone is not able to make progress but the thing is with this card over here Trigger statement, I am overwhelmed, but true statement, I am moving. So someone might be neglecting a fact that they're actually moving or they don't want to move because they staying in this victim mentality and they're like, there is no way out for me when in reality there is. Someone needs to understand what they're capable of. Oof, card flew on the floor. Let's see what is up. Yeah, someone needs to understand what they're capable of because someone sits in this energy of, you know, I want to say darkness and uh, they got to get this... Um, <laughs> I'm going to say, they got to get their ass moving. Obviously, you got to sit down and realize what is keeping you in that mode or that maybe environment for some of you or that emotional state in order to move forward. But sometimes some people decide not to even look there because you don't want to move forward, right? It's comfortable to be in the misery because you don't have to take responsibility for your actions, right? You're just there. So let's see, what is this connected to? What is this connected to? Overall, there is lack of communication here. Lack of communication or clear communication that what I'm seeing. Page of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Or someone doesn't want to accept help. Because there is a way out. And I don't feel like this is your energy for most of you. Maybe some of you watching this will be yours. But as if you're dealing with someone else. And the way that I'm seeing this mask here, you know, this is your side and this is the unknown. And you're trying to understand what's happening with the other person or what could be done. But intuitively, 
with high priestess you know exactly what needs to be done so you know if you if you say something you know when to stop talking and you know when to say something it's almost like you can read someone very easily and you probably know that the tower has to come and interfere here in this situation to knock that devil down as well as the five of cups with the eight of swords in order for for a shake-up to happen and for something to stop moving i just want to say this is not as bad as someone thinks It's not as bad as someone thinks. Everything is gonna come back to balance. As long as we're looking for opportunities, not the, what's the word I'm looking for? It's saying don't be defensive, look for opportunities. Okay, let's step out, I'm hearing, let's step out. The Knight of Cups, this is an opportunity, right? For balance. What is the advice for pile number ones here? <laughs> to look for new, exactly what we said before, look for new. Fresh water, okay? Fresh water. And I'm hearing, don't look for a lake, look for a river. And I think this is, being ref this is referring to someone's emotions. Water in a lake is darker because the water is not moving. Water in the river is clearer because it's moving. It's filtering itself. It's, it's mo movement. It's all about movement for pile number one the next week. And I mean, true statement, I am moving in the gratitude card, right? And when I think of lime... Um, a lot of times I think about cleansing. I don't know why. This is my this is my personal thing. Um, I think about cleansing. A lot of times I would drink a lot of lime water with some fresh mint in it and not eat much during that day. Not because I'm pushing my body, but sometimes intuitively I feel like I'm just doing so. And I listen to my body very much. It need, It knows what it needs. And here it seems like there is a period of cleansing that is coming your way. And um, you may feel like you want to make changes in your either routine, but this is very connected to your body and what you take in your body, what you consume. And it's not only about food, but it's also about the energy surrounding you, what you are closing doors to, what you are not um, allowing to impact you anymore. What is improving the next week? What is improving the next week? Okay, transition, transition, on top of transition. What is improving the next week? Yes, it may not be comfortable. Um, For me, this Two of Cups is about relationship with self, to be honest. Could be with someone else, but because we saw quite a lot of things happening, Maybe if, you, if this is the person who is in that victim mentality, way, I'm here way for too long, the tower has to step in and strike and therefore the relationship changes. There is a change to relationship, either you yourself or with someone else. Let's see where it's going to be heading afterwards. Jeez, your cards are jumping. Where is it going to be heading afterwards? Ace of Wands. I just heard a fertile rebirth. Ending a cycle. And then of pentacles. Okay, so this could be connected to ending the cycle with the way that this relationship is. And someone may be independent, meaning single. Or deciding to be single. Or... If this is not the person that we are dealing with, with ourselves, we are deciding to step into motivation and the cycle and 
the queen sorry the nine of pentacles she's very responsible she's very proud of what she's built and she's proud of the freedom that she has and to step into that freedom mm -hmm. you're guided by the moon you're guided by your intuition next week there is not almost like there isn't much that's going to be uh, hidden from you just keep that in mind And you know, in this card, we have time for planning is complete. Take action no matter how small begin today. You're going to be pushed to take some sort of action the next week to wrap things up. I'm hearing, let's wrap it up. Let's allow the change to come. I'm seeing someone opening a massive gate for the change to come in. And I'm hearing it's time now. It's time to change things. It's time to step in the power Yeah, the fool. That, that's what the fool does. Mm -hmm. And the high priestess is twice. It feels like you're intuitively being led to take action that is uh, maybe somehow out of your comfort zone or that is not uh, premeditated anymore because it's done. Premeditation and planning, it's done. It's saying now it's time to take action. And you've been intuitively hinted at that already. Yeah, the Eight of Wands is here. Damn, quick action. Let's fire it up. Page of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. And as if I'm, I'm seeing, um, this is as, as if it's someone else. Someone has been waiting for um, communication or someone also felt that there is going to be communication coming their way. And therefore, as we the deck, we have six of wands. They think that this could bring quite a lot of success. If the communication is fast and clear and if fair decisions will be made. I don't know why I said that, but I just heard that. Okay, so hopefully this made sense. This is a bit of a mysterious pile, I'm not gonna lie. But thanks for being here, tribe. If you want longer reads, they're on my Patreon. I'll see you on the other side. Patreons, bye. Hello, tribe. How to let's see what is up with you all before we start this reading and look at your cards. I'm gonna pull a couple of cards from Essential Oil Oracle. Let's start with these um, support card. Oh, that perfect focus, hey? Better. Um, trigger statement, I'm not supported. True statement, I move forward with divine grace. Take comfort and know that you are supported. Nurture your inner child and connect with the earth. Now, the clutter card says, trigger statement, I made so many mistakes. True statement, I let it all go. Everything you have done up to this point is leading you to where you need to be. Let go of the past and be here now. Okay, let's look at the rest. Um, El Goliath, the Moon card, the Silver Shadow Reflection. Uh, can't speak. Reflector. <laughs> I'm so out of it. Um, and the Destroyer. Oh, this is interesting because we have a Destroyer card here. And what I'm looking at mostly is this circle right here. And this to me reminds of protection. Almost as if um, what is, what has been or what will be taken away, it's because of protection. Um, sounds weird, I know, but Looking at your support card too here. Um, trigger statement, I'm not supported. True statement, I move forward with uh, divine grace. I mean, 
it's almost as if the support comes when the destroyer card hits subconsciously you or someone that you're dealing with knows that there is support and it's time to declutter i'm seeing clean slate but it's still unknown for them. It's still not clear how everything is going to pan out to be. And this destroyer card for me is super fucking powerful because only looking at the eyes of seemingly a wolf here, it makes me fired up. It's as if I wanna say, let's go, let's fucking go. Let's see what, what can be done. Um, let's see what can be achieved. Let's see what needs to go, let's see what I can throw out and what is weighting me down. Mm. No, please stay. I don't want to fight with you in this destroyer <laughs> pile, okay? Let's go. Um, which... Mm. I want the intuitive deck for you all, whoever is new here. This is an abstract deck. I read from abstract sometimes. And I just want to clarify this destroyer to see where it's going to lead us. I just heard it's time to get my hands dirty. I don't know what it means for some of you. It's time for me to... Oof. Okay, so the vision that I have with this card is that there is a gap and someone, <clears throat> you know, like a cat, someone is able to squeeze through a tiny gap, but the way they're doing it, it's very, it's very thought through, but at the same time, it's very sneaky, but it's sneaky for a reason. Um, and this is your energy. You may feel quite as if you don't want to give too much away. And the moon card also tends to be mysterious. In the light of the moon, I'm hearing, you don't want to be seen. And you're moving silently or quietly. Um, I'm hearing minding my own business. Hmm. I'm hearing what falls away. I let it fall away. Um, focus. It seems like you, someone is very protective over something or someone here. And um, if something is threatened, they're going to do anything in their power to take care of it. There's very strong protective energy here. Almost like a mother and a child dynamics, you know? Okay. What is your main focus the next week? I'm also hearing international communication. What is your main focus the next week? Come together. Community? Or your circle? I'm also hearing fetus. What's growing within me is my focus. Mm. I'm hearing um, who you're communicating with, especially someone the next week who lives abroad or far away from you. Doesn't matter where it is really. Um, Weird things I'm hearing in pile two. The uh, communication is protected. Whatever that means. 
it is protected almost like there is some um, universal support here that is happening did you hear that i don't know if the phone picked up there was a weird sound it was almost like a yes confirmation there was no sound from the beginning of not no weird sounds from the beginning of panel number one so thanks for that let's go um which deck are we using since there is a strong protection vibe here we're gonna be taking the uh, tarot of the angels and let's see what up okay let's get more information with the destroyer cards you're very motivated to do something here but you are moving quietly mm. confrontation i'm hearing confrontation you in this mode of strategizing the next week or two yeah okay look this is already collective shit we had this in panel number one we had a tower and we had a devil okay so it seems like maybe you're moving quietly because you're about to confront the devil and to knock him off his throne someone <laughs> um this is random someone asked me um i think it was a couple of weeks ago i was showing i was pointing out cards and there were two cards i was pointing out at the same time and i did this and someone went like why are you showing devil's horns what does it mean guys <laughs> it's not that deep i used to be a metalhead hope that helps okay and also, why are people so sensitive over everything? I feel like collectively, a lot of people are overanalyzing everything so much that they become paranoid. I don't know if it's a healthy place to be in. Probably not. Maybe that's what I'm talking about. About this in this pile. Because we actually have a devil. <laughs> Sorry, I'm taking the piss here. <laughs> the Queen of Swords is here. I'm, I can, because I can. Okay, let's go. Um, definitely, someone is very clear with their words. And I think those words may impact someone big time. So, there's a lot of power to you when it comes to your speech, your throat chakra the next week. So, I mean, it's up to you what you want to do with it. But just bear in mind that it may be a little bit destructive okay or maybe someone that you're dealing with who tends to be very straightforward but sometimes harsh it can come through as being harsh okay this could be connected to roots um family matters again strong protective energy over the family over their roots and let's see why why is this devil here why is this devil here someone wants to knock the fucking devil down <laughs> hey, you warriors why is this devil here Okay, there is protection coming from both sides. One side is protective over something that they care about. The other side is also protective over something that they care about. And um, there could be a possible clash here. I feel like this is over a family member or family situation. What is your advice, pan number two? What is your advice? Fight fire with fire. I wouldn't say it if it wasn't on the table. Okay? And again, protective vibes here. Specifically in this deck. Seven of Wands is the energy that... I got you. I got your back. 
I'm sorry, I don't know phone why I have to manually focus at this day and age. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot of fire in this pile, so I don't know what you're up to, but I would gladly hear about it in the comments if you know what this is already. Um, oof, someone wants to confront someone here, that is for sure. And you know what's interesting? That we have the Queen of Swords and the Queen, and sorry, and the King of Swords, Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. There is a reflection happening here. There is triggers. There are almost like both people, maybe, pulling out those, um, you know, that energy of a devil from each other, right? When we are around, we trigger each other so much because we we can see each other's dark sides and this is a reflection but it feels like someone wants to knock it down someone wants this to stop and to start new what is the advice here what a pile man what is the advice here Okay, this is a strange pile. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, because there is an energy of, um, I feel it as I'm speaking, of I'm not backing down. Okay, fight fire with fire energy. Okay, um, but at the same time, it seems like once that is done, then there is some sort of compromise, almost as if these both parties... Um, have to let that fire out and that's what help that helps them come together or to feel better i mean that's what's coming through here it's not necessarily that i agree with that but sometimes you just have to you know let it all out and it seems like the person or a situation that you're dealing with it's it also holds similar energy so no one is offended long term see because the, the queen of swords and the king of swords you can't talk to them very direct okay they're not going to be pussies um they're going to accept even harsh words sometimes it's not easy for them to be offended as long as you um talk truthfully they respect that they respect her hard truths. And I think maybe that is why after this is done and over with, that, that's why we're seeing this, you know, relief. The steam is out and a possibility for a new start. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a new start with the same person or situation. It could be, but this is happy vibes after that fire was expressed. See what I mean? There is clarity because people have spoken. There is happiness because there is union. And there is a lot of potential moving forward. <laughs> this week's um, read is very interesting. So if you want to let me know what the heck is going on, please do so. Always glad to hear. And... Um, I'm going to catch you in the next one. If you need extra content, find me on Patreon. I'll see you all next time. Hello, pile three. Let's see what up next week or two. Next week or so. Let's see what is up. And I'm pulling up from essential oil oracle and I want two cards from both sides before we look at your main ones okay first card nourishment trigger statement it is all my fault true statement I see what I truly need your energetic body needs nourishment, so begin to discern physical hunger from spiritual hunger. Cherish your body and the way it supports you. 
Okay, we have nourishment and cleanse. I do like these two together, actually. True statement, there is no answer. True statement, I am the answer. The aligned outcome for you is simple, but not necessarily easy. Commit your goals to the heart each day and know every single action will take you closer to them. It's a very... Um, It's, it feels like you're in your power, at least looking at these cards over here. See, sometimes I feel like I want to read more about the trigger statements, but in this case, it feels like I am more drawn to the true statements of these cards. I see what I need. I am the answer. You're discerning the physical hunger from spiritual hunger. And you're understanding what next steps have to be taken to get to your goals. Hmm. Um, the sacred fire, the rebirthing bonfire. So it feels like this for me is motivation. And it, it also, it's not only motivation, is the fire that you hold within. And I'm hearing also rituals. So you may feel like. Who wait? I'm seeing someone practicing, practicing their craft and observing how how that craft is working or isn't working and where is the gap? If there is a gap, what needs to be tweaked, um, researched more or practiced more. That is the vibe. Okay. Let's see what else we've got the warrior i mean um yeah we have the sacred bonfire we have the warrior this is a very very strong energy and i'm looking at that snake over here for me it's about the physical and it's also about healing from an illness or healing your muscles specifically i'm seeing because i'm seeing a, a, a body appear in front of me and um you may see progress in your well-being or you are finding a key for what was needed either spiritually or physically for you to feel like a warrior This is a very motivated energy. This is a very strong energy that we are being shown for the next week. This also makes me think of, we have horns over there by the fire, makes me think of a, um, an honor. Someone wants to honor someone. You know, a bit like in, in the past, people, when they used to hunt, they would honor the animal, right? It wasn't as fast butchering as it is now, where they actually, you know, thank the animal for providing the food. And there is some sort of ritual involved here that honors the body. So you may intuitively be more drawn to honoring your body, but this more so leads me to honoring the life itself. Okay, which deck are we using for you all? I'm going to continue with El Goliath deck. Because that's the vibe. Okay. Let's clarify the sacred fire here. One more information in which area of life. We have a no. Mm. Wait. Let's see. We have justice. No justice. Oh, no justice. That's why we're stepping into the warrior energy and we're finding that fire. You may feel like the next week you want to step up your game 
when it comes to something might seem unfair and you will want to make it fair something isn't equal not enough of give and take not e equal give and take um, Um, you may be dealing with formalities, laws. You may want to prove your point to something to someone here. And you know, when there is no justice or lack of justice, um, a lot of times uh, people have to step up their game and to seek for it themselves. So this is that warrior energy. You you want everything to be fair the next week. And you're not allowing anything to slip that is either shady or feels intentionally rehearsed, I'm hearing. What the fuck? I don't know. That's what I'm hearing. That's what we got. We have a snake here, shedding snake twice. I mean, we have... It's three times because I have it on my lighter, <laughs> but um, damn. Listen, next week is very impactful for you because you are recognizing more of this warrior energy within you. And I feel like this will make you feel more like home because somehow the fairness is connected to maybe your path for some of you or speaking fairly, or bringing truth. Um, no delusions I'm hearing. There are no delusions here on my yard. I love that for you. Star seed. We talked about the path. We talked about the mission. So it seems like you guys... Oof, the next week, if you already have discovered what your path or what you want to talk about or what you want to do, it seems like you're honoring it big time. Overall, who you are is not as much um, about what you do. It's about the intention, okay? What is your intention doing that? And it's saying good intentions, fair intentions, uh, rewarded next week and you may see how unfair ones maybe directly or indirectly punished and punishment is a strong word I wouldn't use it lightly unless I really heard it yeah because we need to step into balance here the pond of balance and on one side, there is, there is not, like someone or something doesn't even want that balance, like they good. Let's see, what, what are we dealing with here? I split the deck, we have the Queen of Wands, the Cosmic Huntress. Yes, if, you know, the cos this Cosmic Huntress, it feels like I'm hearing harvesting energy. Someone may be, or a situation may be harvesting energy that's not theirs to start with. Okay, I wouldn't read the Queen of Wands in this light unless it was this type of scenario here. I'm just, I just heard too fast, too soon. We also have the Ace of Cups. We have the High Priestess. Um, you're giving me a, a vibe of, I'm hearing tribal, tribal shamanic vibe here that I'm sensing. Pagans, I'm also hearing it's a very strong vibe. You may feel like you want to connect to your roots a bit more the next week. The sword bearing sister. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, let me sit with this for a minute. Let me adjust the camera slightly so you can see better. Okay, so once that is acknowledged, what we talked about, it seems like you, you're going to get feedback of your actions pretty quickly. It also seems like some of you will be very focused on building heritage, on connecting to people that you care about or people that you feel strongly connected to. And I also want to see with the High Priestess here, you may feel someone's energy the next week who is part of your soul family so it's saying do not mistake that energy for your own if you'll if you'll be like well i'm just sat here you know sipping on my tea and i suddenly have this feeling and you're trying to, to understand what it is it's saying maybe this is the energy that you're feeling from someone else okay and with the Page of Swords, you may want to communicate with people to see what is this intuitive um, feeling that you get. And it's almost like um, I'm seeing the energy that's traveling towards you and you're like, bam, like, well, why is this, why is this here? It means that I need to dig deeper, I'm hearing. Or maybe someone is. I need to check check on someone because when I split the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles here, Hardship Mountain. Um, someone needs maybe my um, company. Someone needs my help. And as I'm saying that, I hear the sirens outside. I mean, don't take this reading as drastic as this, you know. But it's very connected. It seems like you intuitively are able the next week to pick up who needs your help. And it's saying use it to your advantage because you're in the warrior in your advantage. Um, use the sensations to your advantage. Um, communicate with people because you have this strong energy in you the next week. you very almost like indestructible. And uh, it feels like you will want to somehow support the others and you will have more than plenty as if this energy is being given to you for a reason more than you need okay or some sort of resources what is improving the next week What is improving the next week? Nine of Swords, Overwhelmed Sea Turtle. And the Two of Cups. Um, again, snakes all over this fucking waiting man. Um, what's improving? It seems like someone has a possibility. Again, I'm seeing, you know, the shedding itself. An opportunity to feel like they're not as anxious. They're not as... Uh, maybe mentally exhausted or not as worried as if someone is claiming their strength here but it's happening because of unity okay the two of cups and the ten of pentacles this is unity this is coming together and um i'm seeing some sort of healing take place here okay so I hope this made sense, pile number three. Interesting readings, <laughs> to say the least. Um, if you need extra content, I'll see you on Patreon for the rest of you. Thank you for being here. Until next time.